Please welcome Joe Kiani. Well, I get the honor to um, speak about this person that we think is so deserving of this humanitarian award. Uh, the work we were able to do with PCAST for uh, patient safety probably wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for the OIG report that Ruth championed and made sure it got out. We didn't even know it was coming, but when it came, it became the impotence to do it. There were a lot of people pushing back on, on our report, as you can imagine. So, um, Ruth, where are you? Ruth, did she leave? No, she's still here. Ruth and Dora, please come up. Thank you so much. I, I want to um, acknowledge our OIG team. We're so passionate and so dedicated and have worked so hard here. And we're just um, grateful beyond grateful for the acknowledgement by the movement of our work and to be a part of Joe's vision and this amazing team and moving toward our shared goal of zero preventable harm. The strength and the, the vision has been just critical and the, our report could have landed in the bottom of the birdcage, as they say, but the reason it had wings was this group, and um, we are we are beyond grateful for that, and look forward to working much more in the future. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Please welcome Dr. Mike Dorkin. Um, thanks, Ruth, and thanks. Uh, where is he, Joe? Um, so our, our, our next award um, uh, goes to uh, an incredible man. Uh, who um, has spoken uh, here today, but has also, as you can see from our last session, uh, is developing not only the expertise, um, but the confidence uh, of the next generation of leaders in patient safety. Uh, and he does this as Afifa was saying, uh, in his own time, uh, there is no time zone for Peter Lackman. Uh, there are 24 hours in the day, and he gives to patient safety uh, every one of those hours. And uh, it's without a shadow of doubt that he is one of the leading examples of commitment uh, to zero harm. Um, I've had the pleasure of working with him in different countries, and wherever you go, uh, he knows someone in that country who will change things and change them for good. So it's a huge honor for me to be able to, on behalf of Joe and the Patient Safety Movement Foundation, that we offer uh, this humanitarian award to Dr. Peter Lackman. Oh, gosh, this is heavy. Good, good luck flying back with that. Lucky I can carry on. Yes, OK, I'll put it there for you, please. Uh, um, Actually, I'll put it here for you, because I'll see. No, thanks a lot. I suppose you don't want a photo. But... We do want a photo, but yeah. Just say a few words. Say, first, I'll yeah. say a few words, is that um, this concept of zero harm is one that I struggle with because we're in a high-risk industry. Uh, but I think that if we don't strive for zero, we'll get nowhere. And uh, for me, the journey started when I was a young doctor with uh, medication error, well, with a potassium chloride error, in which a trainee under me, at the first night as a, as a senior resident or as a supervising resident, I had a first year resident gave wrong dose, uh, instead of potassium, it gave, instead of, so it gave, instead of sodium chloride, it gave potassium chloride, because the two vials were kept side by side, which was quite commonplace in those days. And now potassium chloride is a controlled drug in most countries, and it always troubles me when I go to 
countries in the lower middle income countries like in Ethiopia or Sudan and I the first thing I say can I see your drug cabinet and I find them together still so it tells me that we 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 know what to do but we're just not doing it properly and when I listen to everyone over the last few days I think that um, we talk about medical error, but we've designed healthcare care crazy. No other industry would put the most junior people on at night and the senior people sleep at home. How do we even think about that? That we run an industry with high-risk industry, and as soon as the sickest patients come in, the most senior people go home. But that's how it's designed in every country. And uh, as I listen to how old the hospitals today are presented, that's still the design, that the residents run the place at night and the attendants are at home. And that's the payment system. So we really need to think differently, really think differently about the design of healthcare to get to zero. And um, I'm really honored by this. I didn't really think this was going to happen, but thank you very much because my job now my, so the Saturdays, they cost, they call it, is to give back. It's really to train the next generation because that is the future. So, but I'd like, but Joe, you gave the opportunity and Mike, you gave the opportunity. So I'm very humbled by that. Thank you very much. Thank you.